It is Thursday, so you know what that means. That means it's time to target the violence. And here at NBC 15, it's our way of finding productive uh, resources for our children, our youth in our community, our young adults in our community that uh, we're having a lot of problems with sometimes with the violence. So joining me today is Tiffany Harris-James, who is Executive Director for Future Leaders Working. Good yes. afternoon, Tiffany. Good afternoon. Now, I was telling you, it's so interesting because I did not know what Future Leaders Working was. I just happened to come across your Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And you've got a really interesting nonprofit. Tell us about what you, what you do. Um, well, thank you so much for having me on the show. Future Leaders Working provides workforce development for young parents that are interested in transitioning into the administrative industry. Um, Essentially, I took my story and made it my motivation. Um, But before any of that, I really have to give kudos to Latanya Patterson with Ambitiously Him and Her King Foundation. I started out as a board member with them and from there, we created an event called Amazing Admins, mm-hmm. and we brought in different um, potential mentors from the administrative industry to help these young parents transition into um, gainful employment. And a lot of people don't realize what an important role an administrative assistant plays. Extremely. I wish I had one. <laughs> got to <laughs> keep me organized and keep me together. So this is a very important job. Mm-hmm. Um, We don't necessarily have the option to pass the buck. Um, Going in this industry, you may support um, CEOs, vice presidents, anyone, even a director and manager. You don't have the option to silently quit because someone else in the company could be depending on you to help push the company towards its mission and its goals. And there's so many young parents that we have, especially young mothers. We've got, we've got some young um, fathers out there who have this baby now, and they're like, what do I do? Some of them have to work two and three jobs um, at you know maybe different jobs that uh, don't pay much, um, more so minimum wage jobs, or some of them have to rely on government assistance. So a program like this is actually giving them a career. Yes, and we really... Um work with a lot of community partners to make sure that we are providing them with the best start in their career. So working with organizations like SWAP T, where young parents who are actually receiving um, financial assistance from the government can transition into being self-sufficient, which is one of our values for the organization. That is awesome. It's an awesome goal. You know, you begin training actually today. Well, the program opens, the application opens, and we start training in July. Okay, so the application opens today. I believe we have a full screen for that, too, with the information. Tell us what do we need to do or what someone needs to do to get into the program, who qualifies. They can um, scan the QR code or they can visit the website on the flyer. The link is case sensitive, so make sure you put in lowercase letters. You can go there and apply. The program is eight weeks long. It is on Saturday mornings from 10 to noon. The the location will be disclosed to selected applicants for the program. Um, Refreshments, breakfast will be provided, although the applicants do need to secure their childcare. And they will be matched with mentors from our amazing admins event. And this year, we had 18 award recipients. And 12 of those award recipients will act as mentors. And it was sponsored by Ivonic, Mobile Chamber, Bishop State Community College, Councilman Corey Penn, and Councilman William Carroll, and Bama Pest Control, as well as builders and backers. We had a lot of sponsors. <laughs> that is awesome because you have a lot of people in this community who want to see young people do so well. And we know that you have to be a young parent. What are some other qualifications to get into the program? You just have to have a, a drive to succeed. Um, and we work with 12 young parents year round. Um, we want to make sure that we focus on quality, not quantity. So we have different programs where you will walk away with things like um, an air fryer. We have a program called Healthy Appetite. So you'll walk away with an air fryer, a juicer, a fruit cleaner, because it's, it can be expensive to feed a family of two on a salary of one. Oh, yeah. It's expensive to raise kids. People don't realize how much it is. Trust me. I got a lot of them. (laughs) Um, Now, you were saying that you came up with this concept from your life experience. So you were a young mother and somebody helped you or how did that all come about? 
Ooh, yeah, I, I received so much um, assistance. I'm actually a veteran, and when I came back home, I couldn't believe how much support and love my community showed me. Um, for a while, I was known as Cameron's mom, and <laughs> and having a um, a son that's 21 who decided that he wanted to follow his own path and not the one that I laid out for him, I had to learn that I just needed to support him on his journey. And that empowered me to be a good executive director for Future Leaders Working. We don't want to tell these young parents what to do. We want to give them options. And if you want to apply to this program, you can have whatever life you create with stable employment. Well, thank you for your service. I'm going to say that. Um, I've got a son who's Air Force too, and you'll, you, you have so much going on as a veteran. Um, and my, my next question is, was what I'm saying, the statement that um, statistics have proven when you give someone or provide them a way to have a career, it cuts down on a lot of the crime because they've actually got a focus, they've got a purpose, and they've got a career. Yes, and so many people think that, oh, well, how does supporting young parents affect me? Well, with especially minority women being having such a large pay gap, and if you're a single head of household parent, you have to work two jobs. Well, who's at home raising the children? Mm -hmm. I mean, thank God for me, I have my husband, Tripp, who's also the chairperson of the organization. But without his support, I would not have been able to do what I needed to do in order to reach the other young parents who want to support their children, but in their own way. You had a support system at home, which is interesting because something like future leadership uh, working you have other parents that are in the same situation you are, so they're supporting each other. So they, right. they form their own support group. Yeah, that was the vision of it as well, to create a community for young parents to come together. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this is an awesome nonprofit, Tiffany. And I know you're excited about it, and I'm excited about to help get you the word out that this exists because we have so many young parents who could benefit this. And, and don't look at administrative uh, assistance as just women because we have a lot of men who are get into the administration, administrative assistant business as well. Yeah, we actually had um, our first male amazing admin um, recipient, which I had to reach out to and ask him, I'm like, are you okay with receiving this award? Because administrators aren't just administrative assistants. They can be your clerks. They can be um, your project managers. So Mr. Joshua Jones was one of our amazing admins. And the role that he plays, he's not limited in the office. He has the full support of the city to go out and spread the word with Project Thrive, and he also agreed to be one of our mentors. Okay, so that's good to know because a lot of people, when they think of admin, they automatically think of secretarial work, but that's not, mm -mm. It, it's the just a wide, it, yes, it has. It is. So look, this is a program, if you're looking for a career, um, you want to jump on this program board, Future Leaders Working, we have that information. Also, um, Ed, if we can get the website address, the phone number, and I believe we have the uh, email as well that we've got. Do we have that? No. Okay. Well, we're going to get that, and we'll put that, <laughs> of course, on our Facebook page. Oh, there you go. Yes. So that's um, that's the email address right there? Mm -hmm. Hello at futureleadersworking.org. Okay. And what about your website? What's your website? Address? Futureleadersworking.org. Futureleadersworking.org. Okay. So there's numerous ways that you can get in touch with someone. I believe we have a phone number as well that uh, somebody can call. You've got email. Um, and I don't know if that phone number accepts text, does it? Yes. 251-333-0272. All right, Tiffany Harris James, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. This is an amazing thing that you're doing for our community. Thank Kudos. you so much for having me. <laughs> All right. And we'll see well, we won't be here next week, but we will be here the week after that. So we'll see you then for and if you have ways that we need to target the violence here, any ideas, be sure to reach out for me with reach out to me, inbox me, email me. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.